We made a, we're using a multi-touch table, um, and we decided to make a pool game with it. So rather than doing the rules of the, putting the rules of pool into the game, uh, we decided to do more of a simulation of a pool table. Uh, so the game doesn't actually have rules. You can just uh, you can set different game types if you like. So this is eight ball. We have a snooker table here with a different uh, configuration. Then we also have nine ball. Uh, we also have a score menu so you can use this to keep track of the player's scores so you can scroll up or down to change the, uh, the scores. Uh, here's a, it's a music menu so you can actually just drag it up to play music and you can select different songs that you want to play just by uh, scrolling back or forth and then to turn off you can just uh, flick it down again. And then for the music player it grabs the album art off. Uh, yeah it actually yeah. goes online to get the album art and if it doesn't find it, it uses a placeholder image. image. So you can get any of the balls you can grab just by touching the ball, and it sort of puts a halo around the ball. Or wherever you're touching. Yeah, anywhere you're touching, it'll put halos. Uh, so when you grab a ball, it'll, it'll follow your finger around, but it still interacts physically with the other balls. And if you pocket a ball, it goes into the ball pocket area. There's the cue area, cue ball area. So it ghosts when you take it out of the ball catch, so you won't affect anything. You could place it wherever you need to. Or if you would like, there's a flashing area in the back. If you put it there, it returns to its original location. Yeah. Or you can just reset. And so to actually fire, so if you were going to make a shot, you can move your cue ball into whichever area you want to make a shot. You place one finger down to basically anchor. Uh, that's where the cue is going to go. Then you place another finger down to place the cue. And you can see here it's actually anchored on the cue ball. So I can move this finger away, that doesn't matter. And I, my back finger determines the rotation. And how far I am determines the power. So you can see the cue moving back. Uh, there's a limit of power. It, that's basically how far it'll go. You can't go further than that. Um, if you do, it won't increase in power at all. And then to fire, you just let go of your back finger. So I'll just make a shot here. Didn't scratch, so that's pretty good. <laughs> you can also use one hand if you'd like, but once you're locked onto a ball, if you realize you're not in the queue or you don't want to actually hit this shot, you can lift the front finger and it cancels the queue. There's also a ball guide or a queue guide, so if, I, if I'm making a shot, it shows this is the guide, so that's showing me where the ball's going to go. Uh, you can turn that feature on or off, so if you're more experienced, you can keep it off to make your shot. So that's pretty much it for features. Uh, we used Box 2D, which is a, um, a two-dimensional physics engine. So any, all of the physics are done by using this physics engine. Uh, we had to play around a bit with some of the attributes on the balls. So there's restitution, uh, there's a bit of friction on the balls. Um, so we played around with those values until we made it sort of feel like a pool table should. And it's also, uh, because it's multi-touch, there's no real limit on the number of cursors that you can have on the table. So you can actually grab onto as many balls as you can and just throw around, you can play around with them. That's pretty much it. Okay, do you want to show some of the other game modes again? Sure, sure. Let's to, to there's uh, just straight eight ball. There's the snooker we were just looking at, and there's a nine ball as well. Hmm. However, the way it's built, you can make as, as many as you'd like just by defining the boundaries and pocket locations, the mass of the ball, the textures you're going to use of the ball, anything, it's up to you. Great. Yep. Yeah, there's a custom draw feature as well, so you might see in this one there's the, the chalk lines. Um, so whatever table you make, if you made a, some new rule set, you can have it do something. You can have it draw an image in the screen or whatever you like. Perfect. Looks good, guys. Looks great.